Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm excited about today's video because, well, it's finally going up, first of all. And second of all, it is the second video in a three-part series about hosting an awesome cocktail party at your home. Now, most of these tips and little strategies can also be used for hosting Thanksgiving at your house or Christmas, so I thought this would be a great time to put this out there. I am going to take you with me on my whole week of preparation. So this ended up being a lot of footage with which is why this video is late going up. So I do apologize about that, but hopefully it will be worth it. Hello everyone. It is actually Sunday, the Sunday before my cocktail party, but I am going to do a few things that are on my list for the middle of the week today, just to feel like I'm ahead because I actually have a lot more free time today than I thought. Today, I am going to run to the liquor store and get all of my alcohol and also bring my hosting supplies down from our attic. I brought my extra glasses down and I went on my alcohol run. I got a bunch of stuff. I got some beer. And I also brought down my drink dispenser and I got a few little mixers here. Got a new table runner just for fun. I did go to Home Goods and treat myself to a couple things that you absolutely do not need to buy, but I think that's fun and I want those for my house and to have in the future. We're in good shape. Monday was my grocery haul day, so I headed to the Trader Joe's in Hyannis, which is an awesome grocery store. I love shopping there usually. I was all excited to do this new like vlog style, you know, come to the grocery store with me kind of video. But once I got inside, that grocery store was insane. I'm lucky I made it out alive. I just got back from the store and I really want to take a nap, but I have a lot of groceries to put away and some really pretty flowers to arrange and put in some vases. Once I got my groceries all put away, I went ahead and arranged some of these flowers. I wasn't originally planning on doing flowers on my list, but it's always something that I love to have in my house anyway. And I thought that I would just get a little bit extra because these mums were at a great price at Trader Joe's. I found them at a great price at Trader Joe's and I had a lot of fun arranging these flowers. And I think they turned out really pretty. Even though I'm not a professional flower arranger, they still look nice. I have a busy work day on Tuesdays, so all I did for the party on Tuesday this week was make my honeydew list so my husband would know what I needed help with when he got home that evening. Hey guys, it's Wednesday. I am just gonna show you my little list again. I added a couple of things to it and I actually already got this done on Sunday, so I am going to bring you along with me while I cross some of these things off. All right. I just realized I don't have any plates, so I'm gonna run into the store here and grab some, um, plates. I actually have about an hour before I have to leave for work. So I'm just going to go ahead and load whatever glassware I can into the dishwasher. That's about halfway full right now. Thursday is a very busy prep day, but it's also one of the most fun prep days for me because I'm not quite under the gun as far as time goes, but it's really nice to just get my house cleaned up and work through my to-do list and 
take a look at how I want things set up. I really got to take my time and play with how I wanted the bar set up and how I wanted all the bottles to be made available to the guests in a way that was easy and easy to see without being um, like a nuisance to the traffic. So I just took some time to sort that out. In addition to making these little cake stands that I saw on a YouTube video out of super glue and upside down wine glasses. And here I am actually putting labels on all of my serving platters because last year I ran out because I had double booked some of my serving trays and dishes in my head. So I just wanted to make sure that I had a spot for everything that I was making. I know it seems a little OCD, but honestly, it was pretty smart because it saved me the stress of running out of dishes on the morning of the, sh the party. It is Friday morning and I have a lot to do. Friday morning was so incredibly busy and it was full of tasks that I didn't want to do until right before the party. So all the food prep and all the last minute cleaning, I just wanted to have done as close to party time as possible because I didn't want it getting all messed up and having to redo it anyway. So that is what this huge Friday montage is all about. It's just me running around trying to get things done in time for me to go to work that afternoon. <laughs> so much done this morning and I even got my sheets washed already and I have more cleaning to do I have to clean the bathroom and vacuum and mop the floors in the kitchen and the living room and I am also going to clean my kitchen really good just to have a clean slate tomorrow oh and I have to frost that cake I have to put icing on the cake I have to make the icing I'll probably do that I think I'm going to put my bed back together, clean the bathroom, and then make the icing and get that cake frosted and ready to go. I can do this. Definitely, I can do this. Yes. I'm super proud of myself for rallying here, actually.
I did actually go ahead and put my veggie trays together today just because I didn't want that hanging over my head the next day. It didn't take long, but for some reason I feel like it was just something nice to get out of the way. busy day. All right, everyone, it is 1.01, and I just got back from working out, and I need to get in the shower and get ready and get this food put out. Overall, I am very happy with the way this party turned out. I think it's pretty, and I think there's lots of yummy stuff for people to enjoy, and I ended up having a fantastic evening, which is the most important thing. Thank you so much for watching this video today. I hope some of these strategies help you when you are planning your holiday gatherings this year. And go ahead and give this video a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel if you would like to see more content like this. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will catch you in the next video. Bye for now.